Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is your main event. And it is a steel cage match for the AWL Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing the participants, first the challenger, making his way to the ring from Sacramento, California, he is the leader of Big Business, and the number one contender for the AWL Heavyweight Championship of the World, the Governator! And his opponent making his way to the ring, he is the reigning and defending Animated Wrestling League Heavyweight Champion of the World, Wonder Kid. Ladies and gentlemen, lower. The K. Twenty minute time limit. No pinfall. No submission. No DQ. Up, over, down, and out. Up, over, down, and out, and you are the champion of the world. This is the first cage match ever on AWL on YouTube. It is a fitting end to our first ever click per view. I hope you guys have enjoyed Obananza so far. This is your main event, the Governor and Wonder Kid, one on one for the World Heavyweight Championship. I think the key to this match is going to be who can best use this environment. Remember that cage can be used as a weapon. You can ram your opponent's head into it, you can throw them into it, you can jump off of it if you want to. Which wrestler is... And kaboom! There's the Governor making the first intelligent use of the cage. We've never seen these two in a true one-on-one -on -one match before. It's always been two-on-one, three-on-one, muggings behind the back after the match. Whatever shenanigans from big business. But tonight, as Wonder Kid said, it's put up or shut up time. Choke slam, one handed choke slam, Governor going halfway up the cage, but not the way he wanted. And a complete miss with that big flying clothesline of the Governor. These are two guys with very similar, very strong styles, very aggressive. Wonder Kid is, of course, pick him up, put him down, make it hurt. The Governor, whoa, side Russian leg sweep. The Governor, a little more cerebral, and what the hell was that? We'll call that the glitch in the game. Yeah, we'll call that the glitch in the game maneuver. You can see that jagged steel cage. You have to beat your opponent down until they cannot get up in the time it takes you to climb that cage, get over, and get down to the ground. For some strange reason, the only way you can do a steel cage match is if you have the WrestleMania ring apron. Please ignore that. This is not WrestleMania. This is Obananza, bitch. And a choke slam again for the second time to the Governor. We've had three titles on the line, two retentions. Sentai One Red, still the light heavyweight champion. Big Business still controls the tag team titles. Imagine the power and influence that the Governor will have if he walks out of here with the belt. If he walks out of here, if his stable that he runs is in control of both of the top titles in the AWL, that's going to be it's going to be a disaster. 
We need Wonder Kid to win this. We need to keep Wonder Kid, someone who only cares about wrestling, who cares about good competition, who cares about, cares about fair play. We need to keep Wonder Kid at the top of the heap right now. I realize three titles up and three titles defended is kind of dull, but right now it's the best thing for the AWL for there to not be a title change here. The Governor California fighting out of Sacramento. Fighting to prove that you have to be a big man. You have to be a genetic freak. You have to be this big, muscular man-mountain man to, to be at the top of the game, to be at the top of professional wrestling. And it's strange. Wonder Kid kind of fits the bill. Wait a minute, what's he doing? <clears throat> One-man wishbone leg splitter. <sighs> Governor still moving after that. I have to give Governor some credit there. He must be wearing a cup. I mean, how much of an arrogant bastard do you have to be to wrestle in a suit? Look at that. Jacket, pants, shirt and tie. Actually, is he wearing a tie? I don't think he is, but still. Prick. Go behind. Reversal of the go behind. And Wonder Kid fighting his way out of this waist lock. Will he get out of it? Will Governor be able to hang on to the hold? No! Wonder Kid fights his way out of the waist lock. 20 minute time limit. That's the longest any match in the AWL goes. Any standard rules match. Remember, as we saw last time, not that it really mattered, well, last match, as you saw last match in the tag team title match, if the clock hits zero, Wonder Kid automatically retains. Other than that, you got to get out of the cage. So this is not really a battle to the red zone. This is not really a battle to the, the finishing moves. This is just beat them down long enough to get out. The AWL has really become a worldwide phenomenon. We've had views from all over the United States, from literally from Washington to Florida to Texas to New York. We've had views from Germany, we've had views from the United Kingdom, from Italy, from, you know, from Japan, we've had views from all Canada. We've had Canadians watching this, do you understand me? Canadians! People who understand their wrestling! And a choke slam. Again, that's the third or fourth choke slam that the Governor has received, and he is in the green he is in the light green zone, not quite into the yellow yet. Both of these men possess amazing recuperative abilities. I've seen both of these men How did he do that? Wonder Kid changing rotation in mid air to hit that clothesline to the back of the head of the Governor. I've no idea how he pulled that maneuver off. But that sort of, you know, laws of physics defying wrestling is what you can expect from AWL. Cheap plug for the colleague you're already watching. Anyway. Both men with very similar styles. Very smash mouth, very hard hitting, very stiff. Both men with incredible recuperative abilities. I've seen both of these men go from red zone back up to green in the course of a match. So we will see. We will see which, who breaks first. This match is going to come down to three factors. Boo! Tidal wave throwing the Governor right into the cage. And now the bear hug slam. Pick him up, put him down, make him hurt. And a shot into the cage followed up by a fourth choke slam. Wonder Kid. This is what Wonder Kid can do when you let him loose. This is what Wonder Kid can do when you're not sneaking up behind him, when you're not going three on one. This is why Governor thus far has needed the three on one. That's a fifth choke slam. Yes, I'm keeping count. Is he going to go for another choke slam on this one? No, I don't think so. Bear hug slam number two. 